and YouTube, welcome back to the JR Fizzy channel. Welcome back to a very requested video. Um, you guys seem to love my insane 100k squad builder type video where we create an absolutely cheap squad for 100,000 coins for foot champs. And today we are going to be creating a 300k squad builder because I thought, you know what? It's, it's been a while since I did the 100k squad builder. You guys might have 200k now sitting around. So I thought, let me do a near, another cheap squad builder for you guys. So let's get into it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Turn the bell on so you never, ever, ever, ever miss an upload. How's your weekend league going? At the moment, while I'm recording this, it is weekend league. Um, so hopefully um, everyone's doing amazingly on weekend league and hitting those top 100 rewards. With that being said, let's get into the team. Alright guys, so the first player, obviously we start with the goalkeeper, the man between the sticks, and that is going to be your boy Neto, uh, the Brazilian from Valencia. Now he's a good keeper, six foot three, traditional save technique, so a right footed, I always like my keepers right footed, although I do use Courtois in goal, I do prefer a right footed keeper, but that's me personally. Goes for about four and a half to five K. Um, so that's pretty good. Again, this is I am. These are all in weekend league prices. So at the moment, so when weekend league finishes, he will become cheaper. I always use basic on all of my keepers just because I prefer the boost overall. Like if you look at Neto's um, boost here, he goes up to 96 diving, um, 94 handling, 99 kicking, uh, 92 reflexes, and uh, goalkeeper position goes to 88. Um, so I always prefer a basic chem style. Now, let's move on to the defense. And the first man is the right back. And that is Danny Carvajal, the man from Madrid. Um, he's very, very cheap. I just bought him for 6.3k. Uh, 6 um, he's high medium, decent pace, decent dribbling, decent passing, um, decent defending, decent physical. High medium, as I said. 3 star, 3 star, which is a bit eh. Um, I do prefer my right backs and left backs to have um, either 4 star week for or 4 star skillers, one of the two. But he is three star, three star, so that's okay. Not bad. He's still an absolute beast. You know, he's been consistent over the years. I would definitely recommend him. On all of my defenders, personally, I always play shadow. So the, that's what I'm going to recommend to play on him. If you put him up to a shadow, he goes up to 94 acceleration, I think it is, and uh, 94 sprint speed. So that's absolutely insane. Pace wise, he's never going to get burnt by anyone, regardless. He has decent strength and decent pace. Who's calling me? Who's calling me? This is very, this is, this is, this is recording time. This is business time right now. All right, guys. I uh, apologize for that little phone call. But yeah, um, what was I saying? 94 pace uh, overall across the board. His defending stats basically all go up into the 90s. I think it's only the heading accuracy that stays in the 80s. Um, but in terms of defending, he's good. Uh, physical. Uh, decent strength for right back 74 strength is quite good. He's quite short so that might be a little bit um, of a disadvantage. His jumping is not the best so again um, it might be for those little back posts you know when people cross in foot champ you know those back post uh, crosses and th that's where he might be a bit lacking. I think that's one of his cons. Um, but in terms of overall 84 stamina 80, 81 aggression which is very good so that's definitely one I recommend. Our first centre back is the former Arsenal man the animal that I like to call him because he is an absolute beast. Gabriel Paulista. Now, his card is very cheap. Um, he's currently going for about 1 to uh, 1, 1k, roughly, a 1 to 1.5k. Um, I've got him untradeable. A lot of these players I've put in untradeable because that's what I have them. So I thought there's no point buying them. I can just give you the prices through the video. Um, he's a low high work rate, which for a centre back, is phenomenal. I love that. He is two star, two star, so that's a little bit air. Eh. He is playing my right center, right sided uh, center back, so it's okay. Not too bad. Dribbling is decent. Passing is decent. Not the best. Pace is very good for a center back. Very well balanced. Defending is very good. Again, physical is very good as well. 83 jumping, 82 strength, and 82 aggression. That is very good for a center back. Um, he's six foot two, so he won't be really getting beat like that. Um, so he's a very, very good center back. I do recommend him because I have seen a lot of good reviews about him. Um, so yeah, again, I would stick a shadow on him. Cons wise, I think maybe 72 stamina. You might run out a little bit, but um, because he's a center back, you know, he, he should be okay. Good reactions. Composure is a little bit low as well. Um, but again, uh, through the Chiefs squad, but I think in foot champs, he can handle it. So that's our first center back. Our second center back is Nacho Fernandez. Now, this guy is basically your poor man, Sergio Ramos. Now, I'm not saying that to compare him to Sergio Ramos. I'm just saying that as a centre-back, he has good pace, 
Good defending, good physical, um, decent dribbling, decent passing. Um, and Sergio Ramos is basically the upgraded version of this guy. If you don't have the coins for Ramos, pick up this guy. Um, he's, you know, medium high again, so he's got that high defensive work rate. The only thing that Ramos does really just beat him completely is his height. He's only 5'11", so he is on the shorter side. So those... Headers may be a little bit of a disadvantage. Um, if you do feel like that you are struggling with the headers, put an anchor on him. He'll jump up to, I think it's uh, 91 jumping. I think it is either 91 jumping or 86 jumping, one of the two. Um, and he'll, he'll just beast out. He'll completely beast out. He's got decent strength, decent stamina, good defending stats, good pace on him as well. He's got the good acceleration and sprint speed combo. So if you put a shadow on him, he'll go up to 85 acceleration and... Um, 88 sprint speed, so that's very, very good. Uh, ball control, reactions, decent. Composure, again, on the lower side. But again, it is a gold player. This is a cheap kind of team. So, you know, you can't expect... You know, you can't over-expect, I would say. But it's a very, very, very good player overall. Again, the only thing I'm uh, worried about is that height. But I think if you are a decent enough defender on this game, if you are a decent enough player, you know how to work the centre-back, um, it should be okay. Now, this guy... Is I looked at him and I actually packed him, which is why his first owner. Um, his price is currently around 19 to 20k on the market. Now this guy Grimaldo from Benfica, his inform. Um, I packed him and I thought he looks like a very very decent card. Two star weak foot, but he's got four star skill moves. He's a high medium, five foot seven, so he's gonna feel very nimble and very quick on the ball. Uh, he's left footed he's, as our left back. Um, and I just think. He's a very, very well-balanced card. Like, if you look at his pace, good pace, decent shot power and long shots, attacking position is very good for a left back. Very, very good passing. And this is why I was very, very surprised. Like, his passing is insane. If you actually look at his passing, he's got good curve, good long pass, good short pass, free kick accuracy. He's taking your free kicks for you because of the curve and the accuracy. He's got good crossing. So if you want to whip in those balls or, you know, play it along the ground, those little sweat cutbacks and foot champs, He's got that covered as well. Um, the only thing I say that was lacking would be his jumping and his strength. Now, again, as a centre back, uh, as a left back, sorry, he is five foot seven, so he's on the shorter side. But with this guy, I wouldn't really recommend an anchor. Um, sorry, a shadow. I would definitely slap an anchor on him, and his jumping would go up, his strength would go up. He's got a good stamina already at eighty-seven, and all of his defending stats would go into the high eighties, maybe low nineties. Now. Even his dribbling is insane. So again, he's going to feel very, very nimble on the ball. Very, very quick. And literally, like this is one to pick up. 19k, I think he's very worth it. So definitely this guy is one to check out. If you do check him out, let me know in the comments down below how you, you know, how you find him. Um, and then we might, you know, ne ne never know. One day we, he might go in our team. Our first centre mid is going to be Daniel Vass. Now this guy is an absolute box-to-box -box all round machine. Now I've used him on draft. I used his gold card, and he was phenomenal. He was playing around the likes of Neymar. Um, I had Kante in the team. Um, I had Fabinho, and this guy was just balling out in the midfield, like doing just absolute beastly things. He's got a good pace, decent shot, good passing, good dribbling. This is the Champions League version. His other card is going for like, I would say 3 to 4k. This one's going for 7k. And he does actually fit into the price. So I would definitely pick this guy off his Champions League card. Um, he's a high medium, uh, three star weak foot, which is a little bit eh. But he is right footed and I would play him on the right side of your uh, midfield. Um, and then... We go into the skill moves, four star skill moves, very, very good. Um, his attributes, they look okay. Defending wise, you know, I would personally put a shadow on him. Um, physically, he is not the best. Um, as you can see, 59 jumping, 70 strength. So he's not really gonna be winning many headers. Um, but he's one of those engines. Like, I feel like um, he just goes on, like 91 stamina. He will run up and down, up and down all day long, without a doubt, again, Good shot power, decent long shots, good passing, good free kick accuracy again, good reactions, good ball control, good decent dribbling. Um, so he's a very, very, very good player. I would slap a shadow on him personally um, because I like to play all my midfielders on shadows just to, you know, increase this, uh, the pace and the defense just because I can't defend. I am a very, very terrible defender on this game. So I need like all the help I can get. Now, our second center mid is going to be the animal. This guy is a monster, like literally... This guy is absolutely insane. If you put a shadow on him, just watch him 
do things you just don't see other people do, man. Like, he's high, high, six foot one, three star, three star. But as your, you know, I would put him at left center mid. Um, as your left, your left sided center mid. He is phenomenal, honestly. Slap a shadow on him, and like I said, you will see phenomenal things. Good defending, absolutely insane physical stats, good strength, good stamina, good jumping. Aggression's a little bit low, but that's not too bad. Good passing stats in the key areas with short pass and long pass. Decent long shots, decent shot power. So he's got that little shot outside the box. You know, you can't, you can't be afraid to let one rip. Decent dribbling. His balance is very, very poor. So you could put an engine on him to make him better balance-wise. His agility is a little bit on the lower side as well. Um, but other than that, reactions is decent. Ball control is decent. Dribbling is decent. Defending stats, again, absolutely good, um, insane. Uh, marking, slide tackle, all round. He's, he's a very, very, very good player. I would, me personally, again, I'm going to repeat it so many times, I would put a shadow on him. But if you do feel like he's lacking, he feels a little bit, you know, slow on the ball, or he's losing his balance a little bit too much, you know, slap your engine on him. He'll do, he'll do absolutely fine. Or if you want to put uh, dribbling and defending, I don't know what the dribbling and defending is. I think it's either, I think it's a guardian or something like that, a backbone or a guardian, one of the two. Um, but yeah, you can put that on him as well. Check that on Footbin. Um, he's going for around 36k, and for 36k, I think he's an absolute steal. Our next player is our centre defensive mid, and that is Saul Niguez. Again, another box-to-box -box midfielder, absolutely insane. He's um, All three of our midfielders are box-to-box -box in terms of they have very good stamina, so they will not run out of energy. They are absolute dogs in the midfield, and they will hunt anything in their path. Um, good dribbling stats, decent pace, decent shot, decent passing, um, physical and uh, defending are decent. Again, he's a complete all-round player. I would slap a shadow on him just to get the maximize the pace, maximize the defending because physical-wise he's very decent. Um, he doesn't really need a boost in that way. Um, and he also he's medium high, uh, left-footed. So, I, but I would still stick him in that um, centre defensive mid because he is medium high, six foot tall as well. Four-star weak foot, so you won't have an issue with his weak foot. Um, Three-star skill moves, but hey, he's your centre defensive mid. He's not really going to be doing skills in the middle of the park. So with that being said. Let's move on to the forwards. And our cam for this absolutely wonderful team is this guy. Wizim Ben Yedda. Now, the only thing I worry about him is his high, high work rates. Meaning that he might not be in the cam position when you want him in the cam position. He might be like, you know, trying to defend in that. But other than that, five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. This guy, I love him. Honestly, I love him. I, obviously, none of these players I've played games with using these cards. But I've used them in drafts. I've used them in, you know, other teams. Um, and they are good, good players. I've heard good, very good reviews about them. And this guy is phenomenal at cam position. Five-star weak foot, finesse left, finesse right. Does not matter. Now, this is a normal card. You can feel free to pick up his inform. And if you have a lot of money sitting around, his Europa League card. Because that card is insane. If he gets like two, three upgrade, two upgrades on that. Probably, probably you're looking towards nearly end game. Now, if you go on to his stats, good pace for a cam. His shot is a little bit eh. So, me personally, I would put a hunter on him without a doubt. His dribbling is phenomenal. Agility, balance, uh, ball control, dribbling. His composure is very good as well. He's got 86 jumping. So, this guy, like he's like a Griezmann type player. He's on the shorter side, but he will leap. He will leap. Like, he'll have that little trampoline underneath him and he'll leap like there's no tomorrow. Um, so yeah, passing's a little bit eh, but you know, if you want to put a dead eye on him, you can put a dead eye on him. I believe with a dead eye, he becomes a very, very usable card. This guy is 800 coins. Now for 800 coins, I'll be honest with you, he's scoring you goals. If you know how to use him right, you're getting a positive return on foot champs. I guarantee that without question. This guy overall, I just love him. Now, let's move on to our first striker, Rodrigo. He is so overpowered. He is so broken on this game. He's one of those golden cards that are just phenomenal throughout the game. No matter where you use him, when you use him, he's, he's too sick. I, I bought him um, for 42k. Um, he's three-star weak foot, which is the only downside to his game. He is four-star skill moves, which is very good. High medium, which is a very good work rate to have at striker, so you know he'll always be in that box. Six foot tall as well. Six foot tall, so that's very good as well. Um, now, if we move on to his stats, he's got 91 pace, 82 shot, 83 dribbling, 72 physical. 
And now physical for me as a striker, I'm not really too bothered about the physical. As long as he has decent stamina um, and okay strength, he should be okay. Okay, now we move on to our final striker, guys. And it is going to be your boy, Usman Dembele. And this guy, honestly, is probably the star of the team. Um, he has five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, high-low, which is absolutely perfect in what you want to be doing as a striker. He's left-footed, so I would put him on the left. Because he has that five-star weak foot, he can go across goal and he can go finesse. Um, because with that, with that five-star weak foot, anything is possible, man. 91 pace, 79 shot, which is okay, not the best. Passing is decent. Dribbling is phenomenal. Physical is, again, on the lower side. His stamina is decent, but his strength is quite low. His balance is um, good, though. So he should be able to hold on to the ball for you guys. Um, I would put a hunter on him, maybe a hawk. Um, but me personally, this guy is your star of the team. Like He is going to be the one scoring you goals, creating the goals. He's going to be your CR7 of the team. He is phenomenal. I packed him as a red card. I haven't actually used him, um, which is a little bit sad, I know. Um, I haven't actually used him, but my team is so good that, you know, he doesn't make it in, unfortunately. But in one, you know, one of your guys' teams, one of your cheap guys, this is honestly... This guy is the one. He is phenomenal. He's going roughly for about 58k um, on the market. I actually had him as a red card, so he is untradeable for me. Stick him up as left forward. Now, this is a team. This is how I would set it up in game. A 4-3-1-2. Um, your back line, all on shadows. Me personally. Keep part on basic. Left back, right back. Stay back while attacking. Your three center mids on shadows as well. Again, my opinion. Put whatever you want on them. Whatever works for yourself. Um, and that they're also going to be stay back while attacking um, on all three center mids. Now my cam, he's going to be on um, Wizen Benyeda is going to be stay forward, get in the box um, because I don't want him to run back. I don't, I don't need him to run back. I want him to, you know, just stay in the goal, man. Do you know what I mean? Um, and our two strikers again, stay central, get in behind, and just stay forward, never come back on defense. And with the front, front three players. You should be scoring phenomenal goals. Now, it is a La Liga-based team, except with the exception of Grimaldo, who just links in because I thought, you know, why not add a little hybrid kind of section in there? You know how we do. Um, but, yeah, that's the team, guys. That's a 200k squad builder. Um, and, yeah, it's a phenomenal squad builder. I think it's a really, really, really good team to take into foot champs. Um, so I hope you, you know, try it, maybe try it out for yourself. Let me know how it goes. Um, but with that being said, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what your foot chance records are. I want to see you guys beasting on Weekend League. Link me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, all the good stuff. You know what to do. With that being said, I've been your boy, and I hope you enjoy, and I'm out. Peace.